using a graphing calculator to solve a system of linear equations. Advanced. Use the Alex graphing calculator to solve the system of equations. So I have two equations here. Before I can use any graphing calculator, the, Alec, the one that's included in the Alex software or the, the Texas Instruments we use in class, um, neither calculator will take the equation in any form except y equals form. And neither one of my equations are in that form right now. So before I can do anything, I'm going to have to rearrange these. So my first equation, 0.81x minus y equals negative 3.3. If I want to get the y by itself, the first thing I'm going to do is zero out or eliminate this x term by adding or the opposite or subtracting 0.81x from both sides. So that'll zero it out on the left and I'll be left with negative y equals now this is an x term, this is a constant term. They're not like terms, so I have to just keep both of them. 0.81x minus 3.3. And then there's a hidden coefficient of negative one on the y right now, right there. So I'm gonna divide off that coefficient. And then balance my equation by doing the same thing to the other terms. So my first equation rearranges to y equals a negative divided by a negative is a positive 0.81x. Same thing here, negative divided by a negative gives me a positive 3.3. So this is my first equation. Okay, now this one, 0.5y. equals 2.5x plus 13. Um, I don't have an x term over here on the left with the y. It's already over here with the constant. So all I have to do is just divide the coefficient. So I'll end up with y equals 2.5 divided by 0.5 is and 13 divided by 0 0.5 is 26. Okay, so this is my second equation. Now I'm going to use the graphing calculator, either the Alex one, and since I'm not on the computer here, or in the Alex software, I just kind of printed these little things out. Um, so if you're on the Alex graphing calculator, the first button you want to hit is this y equals one, and it'll bring up this screen, which is just a list of equations that can be entered, and you're gonna enter these two equations, just type them in, lines y1 and y2. Um, and like I said, this calculator will only let us enter the equations one way in y equals form, which is why we had to uh, rearrange them first. If you're on one of these, one of the Texas Instruments calculators, then um, the y equals button is this one. It's the first one under the window instead of the second one like it is here. But it looks very similar. We just have a list here where we can enter in equations. So in line one and line two, I'm going to enter my two equations. So 0 0.81, this is the x button on, the, on these calculators, plus 3.3. Then arrow down, and I'm going to enter in this one, 5x plus 26. So in either calculator, the one in the Alex software looks like this. Texas Instruments calculators looks like that. Um, the next thing that you're going to do is hit the graph button, which in the Alex calculator is right here. And on the Texas Instruments similar place, the last one right under the window is right there. 
and both calculators will show you the graph of the two lines. Next we want to have the calculator actually calculate the point of intersection for us. So if you're on the Alex calculator, um, you're going to hit this button, the one that says intersect. On these, the yellow calculators, uh, we don't have an, a button that does the intersection. We need to access that calculate, that blue little calc up there. So we're going to hit the blue second button and then this trace button to get to that calculate menu. And option number five is find the intersection. So we're going to choose five. And um, then on the Alex calculator, once you hit that intersect button, it has some questions here for you. You don't have to do anything with these first two, but there is going to be kind of a dotted line right here on the axis with a big finger. You're, wanna, you're going to want to drag that dotted line over to where your point of intersection is. Um, but on, and then uh, your last thing that you're going to do is hit the, oops, not that one, this one, you're going to hit intersect right here again. And then it'll show you the coordinates to the solution right here in this little box on the screen. Now, on, the, on this one, the yellow one, once you've done that second calc option five, it also asks you these same three questions. But on this calculator, we can just skip right through those. We're just going to hit enter, enter, enter. And then the point of intersection is right down here. And you can see, I know it's smaller on this one, but I got the same thing right, on both calculators. So to enter my solution here, um, it says round to the nearest hundred. So if I'm looking at my X coordinate, I want to keep two decimal places. And since this one, the seven is larger than five, I have to bump this one up to negative 5.42. And then this one, I want to keep two decimal places, the zero eight. But since the third one is bigger than five, I have to bump this eight up to nine. So negative 1.09. And that's my final answer.